Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So I'm going to be tying this today. This is called the Hybrid, and it's tied by a guy named John Barlett. I don't really know much more about it than that, except for that I was just searching for carp flies. We do have a river. I'm sure you guys have seen me fish uh, with carp in it, and I can't seem to get them to bite anything. I throw everything at them, and they, they run off. Um, I'm going to try a few things here today. Uh, I've tied a few of these already, um, and I hear that they're really good, so hopefully they will catch for me. The other thing I've noticed is that I, I always cement the heads, and I heard somewhere that carp can smell really well, and so anytime you're cementing heads, there's some smell to it, so that could be it. So I'm not going to do that, so that's one, one thing to think about. All right, so today I am going to be tying with a Risen's egg hook. It's an egg 105 is the model number. And it's a super strong hook, really, really strong. It shouldn't bend at all. Um, I'm using a size number six, but they go up to size two and down even to, uh, I think, 12. And they're inexpensive. They're a good price for them, um, but they're super strong. And they also have a, if you notice, there's a little curve to them. Okay, so the, it'll, the it, it curves like that, so it should be better at hooking a fish right in the in the side of the mouth. So I like that. So we're going to start our thread. Um, I'm using Vivis 6 odd in black and build a little base here. Kind of set that. We're going to put a um, dumbbell eye. This is brass. Go ahead and use X wraps and under wraps. Since we're not going to be cementing it, really want to make sure this is nice and tight in there. All right, and then we're just going to come back to the bend here, and you don't have to worry about making that nice and even. I'm going to tie right over it. In fact, a little roughness like that might help keep materials in, so no big deal. Then we need chenille. This is the ultra chenille in the micro size or the small size. I'm not sure exactly. And you can see how on multiple sides, um, both sides, there's like a curve to them. You just want to make sure that it's straight when you tie it in. Actually, we'll bring all the way back up. We'll tie in now. If you notice that I am spaced back a little bit from the eyes. Then when you come back here, you want to really tie in really tight and, you know, quite a few wraps because that'll give some strength to it. And you want to tie back a little bit into the bend, as you can see where I'm at, and then come back up. And we can cut this off, I would say about one and a half hook lengths, okay? We will shorten that up in a minute. You'll see how. So next we need peacock curl. And I've got, I think, five strands here four to six or so would be good. And I like taking one of these hackle pliers and it'll keep them all together. Kind of make it a little easier to wrap. You can even, so these don't get in your way. Cut off the extra. And then come up to the tips. Cut off the tips. And then we tie Tie that in, come all the way back there. Build kind of a little taper onto this with your thread. All right. And then one, two, three, four. So I counted one, two, three, four, so I can unwrap my 
thread there a little see how I'm trying to build a little taper there sort of <laughs> didn't come out perfect but Okay, got that tied in. And next, we're gonna need some soft tackle. So I've got this really beautiful cape. Um, I'm not gonna see it from, be able to see it from here, but it's a whiting cape. And it's got these really nice hackles on it. I'm gonna choose one from, because of the size of the hook, I don't want this to be too large of a hackle too too long i'm going to choose one from the side that looks like a little smaller hackle and you can see there's the fuzzy and then there's the tip and we're really only going to be using the tip here so grab small amount stroke back the fibers you can see what we've we're left with here and then we want to just cut off A little tie-in point like that. Come underneath here, make two wraps, and then wrap in front and come back to it here. And then just pull back the fibers. And like any soft tackle, just start winding on. And you're gonna some of these fibers are gonna want to go all ways, but just just stroke them back the best that you can. Only two wraps is good enough to capture that. Okay. All right, and as you can see, I've got fibers going everywhere. So pull them back. Wrap over it. Maybe two more wraps there. That should kind of pull them backwards there. If you have any stragglers that don't want to cooperate, you can always, sometimes you can yank them out or cut them. Come back to the front there. Whip finish. Now, because I'm not using cement, I'm gonna pinch that back a little bit. Since I'm not using head cement, I'm gonna do a double whip finish, quite a few wraps from each. And this is pretty strong thread, so I'm not too worried, as long as you do a good whip finish. There you go, that's it. Super simple. Um, one last thing though, is you wanna take a lighter and get the, the end of it. That kind of tapers off that end, as you can see, makes it look a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. Um, you don't have to do that, but I think it looks nice. And there we go. So hopefully this will work for some carp. If you guys have any secret weapon patterns, let me know. Um, if any of you fish the Medina, um, let me know. It's a really beautiful river. I really like it. I just have had a lot of trouble with those carp. I can't seem to get them to bite. So I'm hoping I'm gonna try a few different flies and go strictly for carp and hopefully I can get a couple. I've caught carp before and for some reason there, they're just, they're super picky. It is really, really clear water. So I'm not sure if that has to do with it. They probably see me, that's probably the issue and they are finicky fish. So, um, Again, check out these hooks. Check out all of Risen's hooks. They're really, really good. They also have really good rods and reels. I mean, that's pretty much all I fish with is um, Risen stuff um, because they're really good price. I mean, I think these are 350 and you get quite a few hooks. I think it's like 25 hooks. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, 25. And really good deals. Um, so, and they've got other stuff. They got beads and, um, you know, uh, tungsten and um, they have uh, barbless hooks as well really good quality barbless hooks but even these at 350 for 25 of them that's super sharp you can see with the 
thumbnail. I mean, it, you know, it wants to stick. So, um, yeah, uh, re really good hooks and, and strong. By the way, you get a discount, so type in McFly at checkout when you go there, and they have offered to give all my subscribers a discount. Uh, also, hit the like button, the subscribe button. That really helps me. Um, anytime you do that, uh, the algorithms in, in um, YouTube really kind of, you know, it, it helps the algorithms, make the, makes them think uh, that you guys like the video, and it helps me get more views. Also, subscribe if you haven't, and comment if you could. Um, all that really helps me, so... Um, I also sell flies, so if you guys are interested in buying some flies, let me know. Um, I've got, you know, I can tie pretty much anything. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.